Hello, everybody. Let's come from Yahoo News via Reuters. The United Nations finds growing signs of Russian involvement in Ukraine war. This comes from Geneva by Tom Miles. A separatist conflict of eastern Ukraine is revealing increased evidence, but not yet conclusive legal proof, supposedly. Uh, Russian state involvement by uh, senior United Nations humanitarian rights officials said Monday. Well, we all know this to be true, but now the UN is coming and actually investigating, so this is good. Uh, they said, we're speaking about increasing inflow on official fighters and increasing evidence that there are some Russian servicemen involved in fighting. Assistant Secretary General of Human Rights Ivan... Sivanovic told a news conference in Geneva. Uh, Russia denies Western accusations that it's backing pro-Russian rebels with arms and troops. On May 21, United Nations officials interviewed two Russian captured in eastern Ukraine. Aha, hey, I told you about that, didn't I? Yeah, so the UN actually went to Ukraine and interviewed them. Wow. The two men believe they should be treated as captured servicemen, but Russia says they're former soldiers who had left the military. Uh, the pair were charged with terrorism by Ukrainian authorities, putting them between a rock and a hard place. Simonovic said, It's very difficult to prove whether they are servicemen or not. That's why mostly... We are speaking about fighters of the Russian Federation, said Armin uh, Heratunian, head of the UN rights, uh, Human Rights Monitoring Mission in Ukraine. If Moscow is proven to be part a party to the war, it would drag Russia into allegations of war crimes and potential trials for international criminal court, which Ukraine's foreign minister has said Kiev wants to join. In other words, Kiev wants to join the uh, International Criminal Court. Uh, whether or not to declare Russia a party to the conflict is the domain of the International Committee of the Red Cross, which is guardian of Genevan Convention, setting down the rules of war and considering references to the United Nations. What the fuck is the Red Cross doing involved in the international uh, criminal courts and shit like that? This is not cool. If, they, if the Red Cross is actually involved in that kind of stuff, that is not who needs to be there. Uh, last July, it was declared that the war between Ukraine and Russia and everybody else uh, was a civil war, a non-international armed conflict. ICRC has now announced a new designation, Ooh. and spokeswoman declined to say if it's advice had changed in private. Despite the two warning sides claims to be representing interests of the people in ground of uh, Harry Utian said there are no popular support for the fighting which has killed 6,417 people including 626 women and girls wounded 15,962 since mid-April 2014. So, this is this, folks. Uh, the United Nations is finding growing signs of Russian involvement in Ukraine, and they're starting to get the people involved, including the International Criminal Court, especially if uh, Ukraine wants to join it. And basically, folks, if found to be involved, Russia would be indicted in the uh, International Criminal Court for crimes against humanity, war crimes, and certain things of that nature. Um, yeah, I, I am kind of shivering a little bit. It's not a seizure in case it comes off as such. Um, I had a bowl of ice cream. It's freezing cold down here, etc. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, if uh, Russia's found guilty, this doesn't change anything. It just basically puts them on the map because the soldiers have already spoken out against it. 
And the majority of them, from what I'm hearing, when they get sent over to Ukraine and come home, they're not coming home to parades and stuff. They're kept quiet. And basically nobody really looks at them as heroes or anything else. So the servicemen are saying, well, if I'm not getting any benefits, if my family is not getting any benefits, um, why should I go and serve time in Ukraine? Why should I do this? Why should I do that? Well, it's this way or the highway. If you're in the military, you go where the military goes. It's that simple. It's always been that simple. You're a soldier. Even if you are an officer, you are a soldier first. You are a rifleman first. You are this first. You go where I tell you to go. Because either you need to check it out, or you need to go active. Or you need to go there for training. It's the same story everywhere, folks.